Water Horizon is directed by the same guy who brought us Lone Survivor and again stars Mark Wahlberg. This movie is based on the Deepwater Horizon incident that happened in 2010, which was the biggest oil disaster in US history. It was a major disaster and it's still affecting the ocean and the wildlife today after six years. So being as I've lived in Florida for my whole life, I understand how big the BP oil spill was and how it affected the ocean, the environment, the wildlife. And after taking a marine biology class in 2015, I found out that this is still an ongoing thing that they are trying to solve. And over the past six years, we have been constantly reminded how this oil spill affected the environment, the animals, and how this oil spill is still affecting marine wildlife. However, what I really liked about this film, and it's something that we haven't really talked about yet because we're all focused on different things, I like how this film focused on the people on the oil rig. This film perfectly captured how the people on this oil rig were like a family, how they were kind of a community living on this oil rig. And I saw that through Mark Wahlberg's character and I absolutely loved Mark Wahlberg in this film. He is as you would expect, he is Mark Wahlberg like he is in other films, but like in Lone Survivor, the character that he portrays most of the time is dimmed down because this is a really serious situation. And I honestly think that this is one of Wahlberg's top 10 performances, maybe even five. This film also has really good performances from Kurt Russell and John Malkovich. Kurt Russell embodies the morality of the Deep Horizon crew and all of the people who are just concerned and astonished about this tragedy. Whereas John Malkovich perfectly portrayed the BP company's really greedy ways. And because of these greedy ways, this disaster happened. I really enjoyed that and I also enjoyed how this movie was not afraid to point fingers as to who was to blame for this incident. I love this director's work and I loved Lone Survivor as well and I like how he's tackling based upon true story type movies. This director has no problem with making movies based on controversial topics and I really enjoyed that about him. And I also feel as though what this movie did perfectly was how big of a disaster this was at the time it was happening. There's oil and mud everywhere. These guys are being covered and some of the most disgusting fluids I could possibly see in a movie. I didn't even know Dylan O'Brien was in this. I was like, oh, Dylan O'Brien's in this. Oh, wait. Oh, Dil Dylan O'Brien, I am so sorry <laughs> that you had to go through this in this film. Like, I felt like I had to take a shower after watching this film, and I can't imagine this happening to actual people. I feel as though it's one of the most important films out there this year, and it has a lot to say about what happened in 2010. Like I said, we've been talking about over the past six years how the environment was affected, how the animals were affected, but there hasn't been really much talk about how people were affected, how families were affected. So yes, I think Deepwater Horizon is probably one of the most important films out there this year. I think it tackles some things that needed to be talked about besides animals and environment, actual people. I strongly suggest that you guys go see this film. It's very important. It's also a really entertaining disaster film in my opinion, and I would just recommend this so strongly. So yes guys, that was my review of Deep Water Horizon. Comment down below what you thought of this movie. If you've seen it yet, like the video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't yet for more movie reviews, trailer reactions, and gaming content. Also, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can by clicking this banner right here. All I ask for is a dollar, nothing more. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey, and this is Pixel Talk.